you and Americans call them chocolate snakes instead of curly whirly squirrelies. Oi mate, fancy a bits of whisper. Some Jaffa cakes. In case you're wondering if it tastes like anything besides steak and kidney, the answer is no. It's all steak and all kidney. <laughs> so this is a really special uh, episode of Takeout Thursday. It is miraculously a Thursday, and this just happens to be takeout, and uh, I didn't really realize it until I was walking to, <laughs> to the subway, but yeah, sometimes things just work out. So here I am in London, uh, about to eat fish and chips from the Laughing Halibut, and that's uh, near St. James Park, which is near Buckingham Palace, which is near the Queen. They were doing some construction, uh, I think the entire time I was here. So I didn't see any of the, uh, the beef eaters, the, the red guards with the funny hats. And I didn't see the queen either. Anyway, here's fish and chips. Now I am mindful that this is a hotel room, so uh, I don't want to stink it up too much. So let's try to go a little more quickly here. Now this is the fish, all right. This, I think, is a chip buddy, which is a sandwich of chips. Yeah, there's the chip buddy. You can see it's bread and fries. Chips, chips, I mean chips. Over here is the uh, Cornish pasty. That's what they called it. Seems to be beef and vegetables. And here's the fish and chips. So this is cod, and they had a bunch of different options. Halibut was the most expensive cod was somewhere near the low end and that's what I got because it seems to be the most classic to me or it feels that way anyway maybe I'm just craving cod anyway here's the uh, fish part and there's the chips now something um, I'm noticing right away compared to I guess the uh, North American style this is what seems to be a whole fish I feel like the North American ones are really processed. This, on the other hand, is, you know, it's just real. It's gonna be a real hell in my stomach too, uh, to eat all of this, but I had to get the authentic experience. Um, I was gonna get mushy peas. Unfortunately, they were sold out. So this is what I've got. I'm gonna take a crack at this in just a moment. I'm just gonna get my water and then you know, dive in, <laughs> you know, because it's fish. Okay, let's sort it out. Now, before my body realizes that I am out of room, let's move on to the chip buddy. Yeah, this isn't happening. But damn if I'm not gonna try. This is the British food experience. I gotta eat the chips and the bread. I have no choice but to eat the chips and the bread. Time right now is 8.15. I got all night. Time is 8.34. Look at that, almost done. Time is 8.49. Here's the last thing. Still kind of warm too. Cornish pasty. Okay. Let's do this. Yeah, that's that's a lot of bread. 
The filling is somewhere in the middle. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna bundle up the rest of this stuff and heat it off camera. No, uh, no rating, but oh, it's so good. This is my last night in London. Just trying to enjoy the local flavor while I can. So yeah, that's it for a very special Takeout Thursday. Good morning, it is my last day in London. I'm gonna go put those shoes on and then go see what's what. Maybe get breakfast, either in the hotel or at McDonald's. Oh, by the way, um, you know, how uh, we call it Mickey D's in, uh, in Toronto, at least. Well, here, um, I was talking to some people from UK and they call it Mackie Doos. That's, uh, that's pretty interesting. I guess it's based on whether we say McDonald's or McDonald's. I'm burning daylight that I could be spending drinking coffee. So off I go. That's it, and I'll see you later.